Hey guys, I finally got around to replacing one of my uh, sport cams. Um, do a small review on this one. This is the Dragon Touch Action Camera version 3. Um, they say it does 4K. We'll see. Uh, 16 megapixels, 4K, 107, 170 view angle, and Wi Fi. Uh, what else does it have? That's about it. I'm more, I'm more interested in the um, in the 4K really. So let's uh, open it up, and have a look at it. Let's take a break into this thing. There we go. Camera, a box. And in the box we have. It's in the box. Whoa, a lot of junk. Strap. Um, oh, it says charger. Yeah, all this stuff here. I got tons of this stuff. I don't know if I'm going to need that, but. Just put that back in there for now. The uh, cloth for the lens, some sticky pads, tie wraps, batteries. The batteries we need. It comes with two batteries. I have a link in the description for this one. A user guide, a couple of user guides. USB cable. Uh, this one actually comes in quite handy, this cable. This uh, connector here for bicycles. Uh, what else? It comes with a remote. It goes on your wrist. I'm not too sure if this still got the batteries in it. So it is working. Uh, let's see if this thing is even charged up. I'm going to be using this on my e-bike channel. I don't really use it that much on this one, but I will try it. It's got some plastic over the lens there. There's no lock on the top, which is kind of disconcerting. you think it would have a lock on it in case it uh, came unlocked and flies apart. Back. You see that? It looks like it's got double plastic on the back. I don't want to mess it up. But yeah, it does. Unless this is like a Samsung, you pull this plastic off and it destroys the LCD. <laughs> there it goes. No, it's fine. And a little piece on the front. The only thing I don't like about these things is the lens sticks out further than the camera. So like if you um, drop it on this face, it's going to get scratched up pretty good. That's how my other one died. But, uh, let's get this thing open. Oh, that didn't have to go in there. It's lost the lid. That's only in there right now anyway. Let's fire it up. And nothing. Gotta hold it. There it goes. It's got a nice sound to it. No picture. Any protector of reason, particular reason why I have no picture? Not gonna let me view it? That's weird. I'll have to go through the instructions. Huh. Oh, wait. It's going to need a memory card. That's one of the reasons why it's probably airing out. I'll turn it off. It's one thing you forget. Okay. We'll uh, take the one of the 
my old one for now. Yeah, right now, I don't know if you can get this on um, Amazon when they had their sale on. This one's worth about 40 49 dollars. And this card's not even going in. What is going on here? Is this thing defective? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there it goes. It just needed a card format. Oh, it's not touch screen. We hit it in the back. Hit it again. Yeah, it's like my old one. Hit it again. I should get the software here. How you scroll through it is another question. Hit the top. Yep. Oh, resolution, recording sound. This one doesn't have a. Uh, there's two different types. I think on the, this is the third version. On the fourth version, it has a uh, audio jack on the bottom. I bet you if you open this one up, it probably has the um, soldering mask for the jack, but jack's just not put there. So I can probably quite easily mod this. Yeah, I don't see anything for format. Here's the video resolution. 4K. That's what I'd like to try. Okay, I got it set up 4K. Okay, we've already done that. How do you change it? back. Is that it? Yep. Hit again. Hit again. Format. She's ready to go. Alright, let's try some test footage on it and uh, see how well it works. So I quickly tried the remote. It's pretty accurate. I think the red one is for taking pictures. And the gray one is for video. Uh, the only indication that you're making a video is this blinking blue light. There's nothing on the screen that'll show you that it's actually recording. Oh, what well, the little you can barely see it, a little Red little dot there, but the remote's pretty responsive, so that's useful. Um, I'll just uh, I'll post the video on the end of the uh, of this uh, video here. See how it looks. I figured I'd share. So about the same size. My old one, give or take, pretty much look the same on the inside. That's how much I know. Do another video, maybe we'll mod it out later, guys. Now, well, I had a chance to take it out and try it out. It uh, works pretty good. I'm surprised it actually does upload and record in 4K. Um, the one thing I don't like, depending on what you're using it for, if you're just using it to hold and talk, it's probably not too bad. But the internal mic is a little hollow sounding. Um, like I said, there's version 3 and then there's version 4. Uh, I think version 4, if I'm correct, has the uh, external mic jack on the side. This one here, like I said, is probably going to have it on the board, and I just have to add it. So, not a big deal, but uh, the, the picture quality is really good. Uh, I made a uh, a, a, an e-bike video with it that I'm compiling now. It's probably going to take about half the night to do it because it's 4K. But uh, other than that, it's pretty good. This is the sound. And I couldn't find any more issues other than that. 
Uh, this is uh, the remote works pretty good too, um, even from a distance. So the red button is for pictures and the gray is for a video. But um, it does come with some hardware. <laughs> this stuff I've uh, collected over the years. You can see how they really slimmed down the <laughs> the um, waterproof casing. Uh, what they need to do is they need to make something like this. It's made from an old battery that's been potted and then I put a, um, a USB cable on it so I can uh, use an external power pack. That's what they need to do. That way you can avoid using those things. I mean they can make that separate and sell it separately. They don't have to include it in the kit but just make it. It's, that way we're not stuck with these cheap ass batteries. But other than that the, uh, the unit's great. The remote works pretty good. For 49 bucks, I'd say go for it. If you want 4K cheap, later guys.